Anyone who grew up playing the classic board game Scrabble knows the thrill of placing a Q or a Z on a triple letter square. But did you know the world's very first crossword game was invented by a Canadian? And now a whole new generation is getting in on the action. CTV's John Venavalli Rao explains. In an era where parents complain their kids play far too many video games, the sounds and sights of something you might not have expected to see. And so most people react like, well, that's uh, different. We need a 21-point word. 21? School kids, a room chock full of them, playing competitively in a citywide Scrabble championship. OK, how many points was it worth? Using physical boards and tiles. Wait, how much was that? Pencils and paper. It's a fun game. <laughs> in a push to keep the young interested in an old classic. They really like that they're talking to each other. It's more interesting than a screen. And it opens their vocabulary. It, you know, you learn a lot from it. This annual school championship started in Toronto nine years ago, but recently others have been spreading across the country. We've got people starting programs in Ottawa and in New Brunswick, and we're hoping for Calgary and Vancouver soon. But the it's double like letter and the triple letter yeah. stuff. Earlier this month, they held their first ever event in Edmonton. Yeah, sorry guys. Joined by the head coach of the Edmonton Oilers. Todd McClellan recently learned the first Scrabble-like game was invented by his great-grandfather. Edward R. McDonald grew up in Shediac, New Brunswick, and in the 1920s came up with what some believe is the precursor to Scrabble. Uh, he had it patented in 1926 in the U.S., and uh, it was played an awful lot in that community, and it spread out from there. As for the winners in Toronto, they'll go to the States to compete in the North American Student Championship. I'm not allowed to point out fake words. Which local Jackson Smiley actually won six years ago. Let's see what you got here. That landed him a spot with late-night host Jimmy Kimmel. Love to see it televised, and I think there's a future for Scabble, just like poker or chess. And this scene spelling out how bright that future looks. John Denavalli Rao, CTV News, Toronto.